Hello again, everyone. I'm Nesbitt. You're the people of Skyrim. We're continuing the Helgen Reborn questline, and here we go. Come to it now, the Bitter Wounds questline. So uh, let's see if we have any issues or not. So far, uh, the quest has gone quite smoothly. There's been one or two small things, but nothing ma major. Nothing that can't be easily fixed is my point at the moment. Now, um, with the TPSC mod pack, it is early stages. Um, I did a lot of work yesterday, and uh, I've been checking out. Oh, I'm glad I found a sturdy place to settle down. Let's just move away from I him talking. These old bones need resting. Um, and I'm going to be again after we finished the Helgen Reborn questline. I'm going to be starting a new game and evaluating all the patches that come with these other mods. Um, that will be the next thing to do and see where we go from there okay so that will be happening next um okay <clears throat> i guess i will just lighten up the interiors for you right now so it's a bit brighter Both are equally important, Nesmit. Good morning, people. Welcome to the stream. What is it, friend? Okay, so the Bitter Wounds questline, folks. Um, a lot of people report issues with this. So far, it hasn't been too bad. Helgen Reborn, a couple of small things that uh, need touching up, but otherwise, it's been pretty good. Let's see what happens. You wanted to see me? Yes. I wanted to be absolutely certain before I spoke with you, but it's been confirmed by my sources. There is indeed a slavery network in operation here in Skyrim, and all clues point to my old nemesis, Arendil, as its chief operator. <coughs> capturing citizens, whole families, and even their children, and selling them as slaves. I'm afraid only the gods know what's mm. happening. Ah. Hello, death. Python. How are you? <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> what can I do to help? How are you doing? Arendil has certainly covered his tracks. Feeling better, I hope. So. Yeah? We have very little, if any. Sorry, I'm eating a grape. All we know is that he specifically <clears throat> requested a transfer here and to be assigned as overseer of all prison operations in Skyrim. It was certainly convenient, was it not? Be that as it may, fortunately, one of their guards had loose lips at precisely the right moment. <laughs> and you may remember Korst saying he spoke of his relationship with some <coughs> at the Tallmast Tavern. I know. It's not much. Yeah, I can't complain. But maybe she can provide us with something else to investigate. At the moment. Can you see what you can find I'll just out wait for the um, dialogue to finish, Python. And then I'll have a chat, all right? Here, I'll mark it on your map. Okay, so let's do this. Um, yeah, I'm doing all right, mate. I'm working on the TPS2 mod pack with a lot of other authors' mods um, and the patches as well. And that's a bit of a headache deciding what's best. Um, this is very early stages, even though this is a 10th stream, we've just, or 11th stream, we've just been testing Helgen Reborn primarily, or, or mostly. Some of the outposts come across some bugs and fixes that need sorting out, sorting out some patches that I failed to load. So, you know, we're in the very early stages of refining this mod pack, so yeah. And as for myself, I'm doing okay. Um, it's been nice weather here, so, you know, um... Still got a little bit of cough, but a lot of that's down to stress, workload, and family life, and everything. You know what it's like, I'm sure. But otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm ha you know I feel a lot better. Yeah, from winter time anyway. The sun always helps, you know. Oh, I I I, I put you back, mate. I thought you were wanting nothing to do with the um. So we had a stream. I don't know if you remember, and you put some comment in one of the streams. Oh, I can't I can't be bothered to put up with this shit or something. I thought. I thought to myself, what, I, hey, what did I say? And I don't know what, in what context that was, that was said, because sometimes, let me just say my streams, mate, um, the earlier streams were lagging behind. So there could have been a confusion there. There obviously was, because now the, the streams, you know, you're like a few seconds behind me, maybe 20 seconds. So, yeah, I thought you were just pissed off. So I thought, oh, well, we'll be seeing Highlander again. But I was wrong. So I obviously misread the situation. So no biggie. Um, so there you go. That's why I was surprised to see you the other day. I thought you had a shit on with me, as I said. So, but yeah. And of course, I just, 
removed you because I thought you wouldn't be around. So I was going to give it to someone else. But as you're back, I'll uh, I'll do that for you now, Python, all right? <laughs> well, good. <laughs> now, how do I do that? Here we go. Hold on. What did I do? I had adders up. There you go. Oh, I got two choices. I could add. There you go. Okay. Uh, remove chat messages, hide users, put them in timeout. Okay. So that's sorted, mate, right? There you go. Uh, let's go back in game. Oh, while I'm here, let's open up this poll so I can see that as that goes. Yeah, so like I say, what are, that's one of the things of when you have a stream that lagged severely behind. But um, since you've been gone, Python, I've got a increase to um, my network. Um, so like what I'm saying is thank you for me my downloads and uploads thanks to all the are much better. much better. And so I don't have so much latency on my streams. So now you're literally just a few seconds behind me. I literally just ran a second ago, and the sh so you lot are all... So what I'm saying is there should be less confusion, hopefully. So that was useful. Um, oh, uh, hello. What am I doing Good here? And again, all of a sudden, you I mean, you have to understand, Python, all of a sudden, you and um, Seuss were in the stream all the time, and the next you went about. And it was basically that afternoon after I was that had been that vampire, that stream, you two just disappeared. I just thought I pissed you off in some way. You know, so, but like I say, misunderstandings, so easily fixed, you know, just, you know, there you go. Like I say, hopefully that won't happen again because there ain't going to be such a delay in the stream. I'm going to go forward. So I'm just going to go forward in the stream, in the day, sorry, um, quest, bitter wounds. Well, right now, my menu, I just bought my menu up and I've just come out of it. And literally, you're about three seconds behind me, I reckon. That's about it, mate. Maybe four or five seconds behind me. Yeah, I just moved a tad. There you go, yeah. So, anyway, that being said. So, yeah, I saw you now. Twenty, About 20 seconds. Yeah, maybe 10 seconds, but not much, mate. Not much at all. Okay, 20 seconds. Okay. Good stuff. Okay, right. So, yeah. And, you know, I mean, at some stages, we were, you were probably a minute behind me in the stream. You know, and that made it very... Uh, difficult at times for all of us, I think. So it's really good because um, my uh, internet package was running out. Just quick story, and um, we, you know, there's good competition over here for 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 people. You know, you've got Virgin Media, BT, and all the rest of it. So we got it cheaper, with more download speed, and more importantly, more up, up upload speeds. Yeah. So that's dealt with the lag. All those problems I had, I think, was with insufficient. Um, resources for the streams because I've had no crashes since Python either or, or since you've been gone yeah you remember those problems we had had none of that so it's been better all around I'm just going to go through to the morning folks um, and then we're going to focus on this bitter wounds yeah it is and, and it did cause confusion there's no doubt about it you know um, but like I say I mean I hope Zeus is okay because I haven't seen him since uh, that afternoon you know that afternoon stream that I did no, like so I just thought I pissed you both off. I think so, yeah. Not enough resources. And I think OBS wasn't set up right as well. The software I used to stream um, Highlanders, yes, yeah, so I think it's a bit of both. You know, I only had a 30 megabyte upload. Since it's gone up to 70, it's been far better all around. So, and I am, a, and also since I adjusted my OBS settings. So it's better all around, is what I'm saying. Okay, let's see, uh, let's focus on this quest, because the Bitter Wounds quest, everyone, is really, Im really important. Um, a lot of people report that they have problems with the Bitter, wound bitter Wounds quest line. So, let's start to see what we get. <coughs> okay. Which direction am I going in? Just going to mark that map. Let's go. Let's do this. Um, which direction am I going? There we go. Okay. Let's gear up. 
Um, I think I'd go with my bow to start with. Time of day, 6.09. Now, um, uh, reforming the dawn god. Vampire I have seen yesterday, folks, so I'm going to fill you in on some technical stuff now as well, right? There are a lot of issues um, with a lot of the, the mods that I'm running in terms of they haven't been updated for a while. Some of the pa patches are outdated now. So unfortunately, this TPOSCAE mod build, mod pack build, is going to be a little bit more complicated than I thought it was going to be. But what I'm going to do is after I've done, um, after I finish this Helgen test, I'm going to load in all the patches that are current, all right, uh, that we have for these mods. And then I'm going to make an all-in-one patch. I'm hoping that the patching won't be extensive in terms of updates and stuff like that. I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Where mods are really outdated and the patches are outdated. Because don't forget you sleep. Um, the unofficial patch, sorry. Arthmore's unofficial patch. has just been updated very recently, right? And the old patch is obsolete as he's put on the... Look at that reflection. Look, Oh, shit. Ow! Mud crab. Um, look at that reflection. That was really nice. What was I saying? Yeah, so Arthmore's patch has been updated as well. So all those old patches, if they're not updated, it's quite likely or possible um, they're going to be outdated. Okay, so... Um, so, yeah. But again, I will say this, folks, if you're listening in, you know, it is easy for miscommunications to happen online. If they do, you know, like I say, I mean... Just contact me, all right? Or speak openly in the chat if you think there's something, you know. Oh, what's this here? Oh, this is it, is it? Oh, no, this is another settlement, I imagine, by... Oh, hold on. You see, I've... The, this is... um, That's my settlement down there. That's uh, Black Marsh down there. That's part of TPS 2AE. And we've got something here. Let's just check the performance around here now. Is this... Yeah, this is where we're going anyway. This is interesting. So this is Helgen Reborn here. And this is Black Marsh, my settlement here. So I'll need to check out this area as well. But so far, it feels good. It doesn't feel like there's any conflicts. I am in the right place, aren't I? Yeah, pretty much. Let's remove this marker now. Okay, good. So, yeah, because it can happen, folks. And it happens all the time. It's easy for miscommunications can happen online. Different uses of languages and words, cultures, so on and so forth. So... Okay, so let me just think. Like I say, it's the Bitter Wounds quest line, folks. A lot of people report issues with this. Let's see if we get any. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. The interior looks lovely. Nice. handsome i only provide one kind of service here. <laughs> and information ain't it besides i never kiss and tell what you see is what you get with me sugar <laughs> so if you're not interested in my company i suggest you go to the bar and leave me be Baby, if you're feeling that generous, <laughs> maybe I know a little. Good. But I was hoping to get to know a handsome man like you a little better. <laughs> Ooh, that lean body and muscles. <laughs> oh, oh, such a Excellent. Pity. I might even spend some time with you for free someday. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I think I did this actually. It's quite funny. We might do that in a minute, folks, just for the hell of it. I haven't got no sex mods loaded up, so we're not going to have anything pornographic, okay? Um. <laughs> About him? Nothing much. I think it's just like a little interlude. You get a dark screen, as I remember it. A few noises, and that's it, if I remember. If you ask me. <laughs> but that's another story. It's amusing, I suppose. Hold on, sweetie. I'm getting to it. 
All I really know is that another one of the girls said someone else came in here looking for him yesterday. She said instead of a tall man, <laughs> he was more like a limp sail. <laughs> but she said he sure did his share of talking. I guess if you can't be good at, well, you know, something else, talking is the next best thing. She said he was one of those kind you wouldn't want to tell any secrets to, hmm. if you know what I mean. He said his name was Mamie. Anyway, he said he would be taking a ship out of solitude back home soon. <coughs> for all I know, he might still be there. Now, if you don't need me for anything else, I have customers to take care of. Right, we will come back to her later, but right now I want to advance this quest, because this is a big test now, mm, um, folks, a, a bit of wounds quest. I'm hoping we're not going to have any issues. And let me just caveat this by saying the only issues we have had is with the pit boss. Um, sometimes we've had to reload to get his dialogue to talk. And I vaguely remember that years ago when I used the um, Helgen mod. It didn't happen as frequently as it did yesterday in the stream. So I checked my load order. And I'll also make any um, patches for Helgen Reborn as well, um, if I can. And we'll have an all-in-one patch as well to fix up any small issues. Um, I might as well do it. Um, you know, I, I cleaned up uh, the Indigo file with permission of the author, and that was a good thing, because that made made a big difference for me, I, f I found as well. Um, so, yeah, so let's carry on with this quest line, because I, I really want to give this a good test today. So we're going to the Winking Skeever, all right? I want to make sure everything works well. Okay, right. Time of day. I am now just going to go to my Black Marsh settlement just to make sure there's no crashes or conflicts with, um, you know, with this Helgen Reborn here. I'm going to check. Just, just, I just want to check performance around this area now, folks, all right? Okay. Just make, make sure everything works okay. There's nothing really noticeable. And feel free to hit that like button if you like the stream. I always appreciate that, as you know. Spread the word if you like the stream. What time of day is it? Oh, we're getting in tonight. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's fair enough. I did see he was playing Fallout 4 on the Discord, actually, because he's on my Discord. I saw him uh, playing Fallout 4. So. La lovely lanterns there. Okay. It seems all all right. Let's just get to... Um... Let's get... Yeah. No, not quite yet. I just want to remove my torch. Then we'll do that. Okay. And we'll just move through to the day. So you can see. Okay. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. Think I got a clean motor. JK's interiors, folks. For most of Solitude and White White Run, Riften Two, for the mob pack, there is some patching required. Okay, that'll be done as we go. I already know what needs being done from TPSC. Oh, young. shut up. Feel free to make requests. Can I make a request? Just be silent. Sure. What can I do for you? Can you take a break? Sure. My voice could use a rest. What? Who? You must be mistaking me for someone else. I know no one by that name. <laughs> I noticed he does like his, his some of his retro or earlier games um, Python um, Zeus I did notice that
What? That's absolutely preposterous. Just be careful as well, folks, if you're using um, the Dragonborn voiceover. Try not to rush these dialogues, all right? Because sometimes it can get a, big bu a bit buggy, I think. I have adjusted my load order, and we will do further testing with the Dragonborn voiceover. Um, because obviously it's not patched for Helgen Reborn, as far as I know. And other mods too, so... Um. <laughs> uh, let's think. <laughs> yes, I know I'm probably no match for you. I'm only armed with a little dagger. You wouldn't kill a defenseless man now, would you? Oh, I would. Don't you believe it? <laughs> Very well. I will talk. But only if you guarantee me you'll let me sail back home. I don't know. I never met him, actually. I only met with one of his... associates. An old bandit named Gunlok. Some say his last name is Forktongue, but I wouldn't know about that for sure. All I know is that Erendil sends the um, product to Gunlog and he takes care of getting them smuggled out of Skyrim. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know exactly where he is, but I know they smuggle the product out of Skyrim from an old shipwreck on the coast northwest of here. I heard they used an old frozen cave to hold the product, and then used boats to transfer them out to one of their ships at night. My shipment is supposed to be on its way there now. I swear to you, that is all I know. I tell you what, folks, I've just been watching the um, stream at the back end of YouTube, and you're virtually, yeah, you're, week, literally, you're literally in line with me. That's brilliant. That internet upgrade has really helped. You know, I had to retire and leave you to run the ski it's made a big difference with latency. No, I suppose not. Yep, well. literally in sync. You're literally in sync with me. It's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, probably Python. Yes, yes, of course. As I said, I've already made those arrangements. You know what? You needn't worry about that. <laughs> now then. I'll take my leave of you. Oh, I'm being a bully. <laughs> but if it gets the job done, <laughs> sometimes, you know, needs must and all that crap, you know. <laughs> right, let's go. I'll tell you what, we haven't seen Secret Lemonade Drinker for a while. I know he's moving house and stuff, so that's probably it. He said he was moving, I think, so. And a few others as well, but, um, yeah, it's strange. You get used to people, you know. Even when they annoy the shit out of you in, the sh in your stream. <laughs> like Secret Lemonade Drinker would try to do. <laughs> Always taking the piss, he was. Okay, looking good. Time of day, all right. Where am I going? Where am I going? Journal. Oh, right. Okay, let's do this. So far, so good for the quests then, folks. So far, what I'm saying is um, there's no noticeable bugs so far with bitter wounds. I know only early into it, but let's see whether today takes us and this quest takes us. And again, the stream doesn't seem so fragmented when I'm running faster as well. That must be the, the 70 megabytes upload a second, which I've now got. And it'll be even better, I reckon, folks, because I'm getting one of those V8 cables at the end of the month. You know, for high... Sh oh, have I just run past... Yeah, no. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, where am I going? I'm... Yeah, I'm going up the path. That's it. All right, I'll just have to work. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, um, at the end of the month, I'm getting a 30-meter cable, so I'd stick um, 
it into the hub and then you know and it's a you know goes in the back of the computer a v8 one of those v8 gaming cables um which i didn't even know existed because i've always i've been on wi-fi for a while now but that should really improve the quality of the stream folks along with this new internet um, package that I've got, you know, so, um, there's been word of some trouble nearby. I'm on my way there you to go. Investigate. It's all about quality and providing quality streams, quality mod packs, quality mods, you know, so, you know, what it's all about just in time for Starfield as well. And when Starfield comes out, I am going to mod it, but I'm not going to mod it in the way that I did Skyrim. I'm still going to be working on Skyrim and I'm going to be doing smaller mods for Starfield, simple mods. Um, you know, which I think are relevant and going to be useful for the user. Look at this. I just wanted you to see the quality of of the road and of the plants. And I mean, you know, it doesn't look too bad in stream. But again, that's what I want. You know, if I can keep on increasing the quality of everything, I'm just now saving up for the next PC as well for Windows 11. Um, and again, you know, um, uh, this, I'm trying to think of the um, memory card updates. The Legion's always looking uh, for strong, capable warriors. My brain's gone blank at the what moment. I'm thinking about too many different things. Um, yeah, but I'm just preparing and starting to save so I can get my next PC upgrade as well, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're actually in quite a... Um, do you know what, Python? We're actually in, in, in quite a low... Um, what I'm saying is... The solar flare flares from the from the sun at the moment is quite low at this particular stage in, in you know, we go through cycles where they get quite heavy as well. And I sometimes wonder if the um, geoengineering that goes on isn't too, you know, more than, based on more than one reason, in just about weather control and manipulation. It's also about, you know, um, blocking out more of those um, elements that disrupt their systems. Because don't forget, you know, EMPs and solar flare and all the rest of it would disrupt um, their Wi-Fi and, and all their 5, 6G, 7G, 6G that's coming out for AI communications and these satellites that are, are you know, we're, we're, we're slowly moving into the solar max. The minimum, actually, as far as I understood, I thought we were, we were going into a major decline of the solar minimum. Um, but we'll see. I mean... I always, what I'll do is, is judge by other factors rather than what people tell me. I mean, I, I know what they say, but I don't believe half of what they say, mate, to be honest here. Yeah. Half of what they tell us is bullshit. You've got to learn to read between the lines as far as I'm concerned, you know. Um, they're always throwing shit at us. Yeah, like I say, they can take those official notices and shove them where the sun don't shine. <laughs> like I say, I, you know... Um, uh, you know, I know my enemy. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, so not everything they say is crap, obviously, but you got to take a, you got to learn to read between the lines, you know. Even when you see, oh, let's not go this way. Even when you see reports about this death or that death or this company, there's always more to, you know, it's just never as, uh, you know, most things are not what they seem. Okay, right. Another update on the poll. Yes, for some people. Um, Gameplay is more important than graphical textures and meshes. Um, I'm just trying to concentrate on where I'm going. Um, so, yeah, mate, you know, I just... Uh, <laughs> I know you're not. I never said you, never said you were, mate. I, you know, I just don't... You know, the news is... You know, it only, doesn't matter what country you're in. It doesn't matter, you know. It's population control. In most of what you hear, it's all about making sure you stay loyal... Um, you stay patriotic to your country, you know, you follow the rules that are set out for you. That's what it's all about. It's, you know, it's, um, and it's always giving you reasons to fear or to be, um, you know, you know, I, come on, guy, guys, we, you know, I mean, you've only got to look at the world. It's, it's, you know, it's never what they tell you it is. It never has been, you know, it's, um, and as you get older and older and older, you just get wiser and wiser to the bullshit they pull out, you know. Um... You learn what to listen to and what not to listen to, you know. Not news, uh, not. Ah, right, okay. Well, even that, mate, you know, it's all, uh, uh, even a lot, even the so-called underground, a lot of it's controlled opposition. Again, again, you see, you know, it's about, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, if you look at any, 
rebellion, right, in history, it's always been co-opted, right, and infiltrated by the empires, by the powers, and it becomes their own tool. The, the, the Irish rebellion of the, of the north was exactly the same. It started out against the empire and the British, and the British co-opted it. The black and tans and all that, you know, it goes on and on and on. Even in America with your civil, you know, you start out with a democracy and one of the greatest, not the only paper, there's been many civilizations that have written great, great pieces of work of, of belief and passion that empower the people, we the people, you know. That's why it's in big, bold letters, we the people. But that's been co-opted now. America's no longer, it's not the greatest country in the world. You know, it's got terrible standards and everything, you know, nowadays in education, literature, in cost of, you know, back in the 60s, 50s, you know, that we had a real opportunity of a golden age with, with production and all the rest of it. And all that production, families had two, three cars, garages, even poorer families. And everything was co-opted and stolen and taken by business or by government. And that's not that's not that's not me just making shit up. That's you know they they put people back into scarcity because don't forget back in those days, with with the technological advances in in production in in food in industry and everything, we we actually shouldn't you know. Hi, Game and Terror, are you US? Are you? I mean you know don't forget you know America's again. Bear in mind, folks, when I'm talking here, there's a lot of positives with all cultures, but you look at America now, right? And what's gone on? Look at your president. Is that, you know, is that a president of a powerful country? He's a puppet. He's like our leaders, the UK leaders. They've all been co-opted by the alphabet agencies and everything. If you look what's going on now in the world with this new world order and the Great Reset or, you know, the big society as it was, you know, it's all bullshit. It, the world's changed. It's not, you know, I still have um, people over here that they think they live in a... That England is still the England that, that it was maybe 60 years ago. It's not. It's completely different, folks. It's all bullshit. The game's changed massively. And if, you know, people can believe what they want, and, and, and actually, I don't actually, th I think belief is unnecessary. I just observe. I don't believe in anything. I don't. I believe in myself and um, the people that, that I'm, you know, in, in, do you know what I mean? You know? Well, I say, because if you have a belief system, that can become dogmatic. So I try to be flexible with my thoughts and feelings and opinions. And I allow them social engineering, exactly. Exactly. That's what it's all about. Social engineering in control. And that's why, that's why I talk about the sovereign man. A sovereign man can't be a citizen. But as I said, the sovereign man's probably um, more loyal and more aware and more capable of dedication because he isn't afraid of anything. He'll stand on his own two feet. And he doesn't, he isn't swayed by groupthink or anything else. You know, and that's where a lot of our problems come in life. Groupthink. People following what everyone else does instead of thinking for themselves. I'm sorry I've gone on a, on a, on a rant today. I'm going to blame um, Python for that. <laughs> but where am I going? Let's, let's get on with this bit of words. Sorry, folks. I'm, I'm not concentrating. That's because I'm talking about all this shit. Um, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's all, it's, it's, it doesn't matter what country you live in, folks. You know, um, you know, at the end of the day, OK, you know, our countries may not seem as brutal as some others, but then the level of control on the spirit and the soul is just completely different. They're just, diff just different systems. <laughs> yeah, by the, they're just different systems of control. And some are maybe more palatable than others. That's all. That's all. You know, um, I suppose. Uh, let's not go into too much detail, but let's just leave it at that. All right, because we are, I am gaming and I don't want to upset anyone. But as I said, you know, um, you know, if, if you're, if you're, a, you know, we can all have different opinions and we don't have to agree with each other, but it doesn't mean we have to fall out either because we all have different life stories. All right. Yeah. Um, the Art of War is a book every man and woman should read. Every man and woman should read The Art of War in my book. Just as every child around from about 12 onwards. Thanks, Gaming Terror. Um, at the moment, we're gaming. I'll just fill you in. I'll just quickly say this, and then we'll carry on with the quest. At the moment, I'm now. I've just started the TPOS2 AE mod pack. Okay. Thanks. I'm glad. Well, thanks for coming in the game and joining joining in the conversations. Yeah. I, you know, we we like that here. Um, again, we just we do talk about gaming, but we talk about a lot of other things as well. So, and again, 
uh, you know, I say it now, folks. You, I don't expect you to agree with me, and I'm not looking for that. Whether it's in the mods I use or the opinions I have about life, we all got our own free will. You know what I mean? Um, now I'm using 22x um, Fusher's parallax textures, folks. Just so you know, I'm using a more simple um, grass mod for this particular version because this is the vortex. This will be the vortex version of um, the mod pack. The MO2 version has uh, folk. Uh, the, the other grass mod. Um, f oh, what's it called? Folk. Something or other. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. You all know what I mean, I'm sure. Um, and it's the early build of the quest mod. Uh, sorry, the um, mod pack for TPS2 AE folks. And we have come across some issues um, for Helgen Reborn, but we've got more issues with other settlement mods. Where they haven't been updated in a while. Um, well, you generally find as well, folks, you know, uh, people will gravitate towards that which they feel comfortable with. Thank you, NATO. Nice to see you. Yeah, Folk Vanar. Again, Vanguard. Folk Vanguard, or whatever it is. Pronunciation is terrible, folks. If you're new to my streams, you'll learn that. I've got a terrible pronunciation of mod authors and some mods, but. Um, it's my dialect, I think, my Dorset UK, you know, country tones. It, it affects, you know, my, um, my phonetic sounding language is it's all fucked up, you know. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Right. And just something else, folks, that don't know. Because I am testing, I do cheat with my killing. Yeah, I just get on with the kills. And, um, and what happens is, as the mob pack develops, right, what I do do is... And once all the patches are done, we play properly. But while I'm assessing all this, I just get through quests and whatever so I can evaluate them. Um, sometimes I'll fight with proper weapons, leveled weapons. You won't leave Skyrim alone. Oh, get out of there, you get. Lovely. <laughs> That's quite cool. That's wicked. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what I'm doing, because I'm testing and building this mod pack, folks, what I do is... is um, you know, I just get on with the king. I don't want to be fighting for ages. I don't want to be testing forever. And I also cheat with potions and other stuff. But once I've done all the patching, once everything's complete, we play proper. And we test everything properly, all right? You can't hide from me. Um, we've also got my... Oh, we've also got my Setting Sun's EMB preset, okay? If, lovely. <laughs> which I made for the TPSC mod packs. Now, where's that bandit gone? I've got to stay focused. I'm just going to save now because we, we might be advancing the quest here. And I want to make sure Bitter Wounds works properly. Okay. Uh, nothing there. All right. Journal. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I want to stay focused now. Where's the rest of these bandits then? Oh, right. Is there more over here? Look. Looks like it. Now. There's uh, some question. There's some writing in the poll. I'm uh, sorry. You've made some comments. I can't actually see them because the. Um, the poll box has just covered them up because you. Uh, I'll look at those in a minute, folks. Let's just take out these bandits. Where am I going? All right. There's a mass of them here. This could be interesting. Oh, here we go. I think this is them here. Let's do this. Lovely. Ah, damn it. Actually, they're not very tough. Um, they're not very tough at all, these bandits. Let's just go down to some normal tools. Uh, normal swords, sorry. Okay, right, let's just uh, see the comments. Yeah, yeah. That was a good headshot, wasn't it, um, Python? Okay, so where's the rest of these guys around the corner? By the look? Are they in a cave? What's that there? Is that a cave, is it? Could be a cave, I guess. Okay, I've just switched to a. Uh, I've just switched to a uh, 
normal level sword folks simply because um they were too easy to kill these bandits yeah look it's a cave dear me all right let's get on in there and as these bandits don't seem too tough i'll stick with my simple sword the poles um not changed we're still 67 percent says they're both equally important and um 33 for yes what was that oh gonna die for that Now these guys now seem a bit tough tougher <laughs> okay i think i'll go back to my sword then because these guys seem oh let's go to the dwarven sword that'd be more balanced look yeah that's a bit better okay that's a bit more balanced i'll check your comments out in a minute folks a bit busy at the moment <laughs> And you seem to be pretty much right behind me. So that's good. Just a few seconds. All right. Good. Need something? What do you need? Need something? What's going on here? Okay. Uh, this isn't a bug, is it? All right. Let's kill the rest of the bandits first then. Huh? All right. Oh. <coughs> nice. Um, all right. We've got to check out these caves as well. Let's just check out the lighting in the caves. I did turn up the lighting for you guys and girls, but it's probably changed. It has. This, this is my default setting that I prefer. Let's just go make it a little bit brighter for you. Now nah, let's go back. That's too bright. It's bright enough. I think you can see. Okay. Where else? There's more down here. And I needed to check out these ice caves because I've got some parallax meshes and lux. And it's the first time I've really tested these, so... All right. Time to end this little game. I cannot best you. Oh, damn you! Boost! How did you do that? How did you do that? Won't get away with that. Let him draw his sword. His... You're dead. You hear me? <laughs> dead. I might need to revisit these, uh, my overwrites. I'm not quite sure if, I, I don't like these, um, caves at the moment, folks. They don't look too good. I might have got my overwrites wrong. Or I might just need to change up my textures, but the... Now, what's the... Release the prisoner from his cell. Oh, ah, Rick. I expect this guy's got the key, hasn't he? No. Was there another one? What's this guy? Has he got the key? Ah, there we go. Okay, that's good. Thanks for your likes, folks. I'll encourage you to hit those like, bu like buttons. I don't know who you are, friend, but thank you. Will you go check outside and make sure it's safe for us to leave? I will do. I heard that bandit say there's some others on the way to ship us out of here. Please okay. help us. That's my wife and son in there. I've got to help him. He's not going to make it if we don't hurry. I'll go see what I can do to get my family and the other man ready to get out of here. Please, make sure the coast is clear and please hurry. Okay, folks. So far, that's advanced, okay. So the Bitter Wounds quest line, so far... Hey, Mr. Speedy! You're... Hey, man, what are you... That's been a while since I've seen you. Now, I'm just going to have to come out, folks, because I can't see the comments, all the comments. Because the I'm just going to... Um, there you go. Oh, no, I've accidentally hit the wrong button. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I, I went to close the poll, just chat box, or the poll box, just so I could see your comments, folks. And I've accidentally closed the... the um, I've accidentally ended the uh, poll. Sorry about that. Hi, Speedy. Nice to see you. So who we got? We got Python, Speedy. What, let me look at the comments. Terror. I'm just reading the comments, folks. Okay, I'm going to get on with it. It's nice to see you guys and girls in, in the chat, in the game. Nice to see you, Speedy. I hope you're doing well if you're still there, all right? That's 64. Okay. Okay. 
you still could do quite a bit with that uh, Terran. I mean, uh, yeah, we'll have limitations, but. Yeah, 1080. I had a 1060 and I could run 2K textures. Um, and I ran quite a bit on that. So that was a Founders Edition, NVIDIA 1060 Founders, before I got this 360. And I could do quite a bit with that, so yeah. Well, it's nice to see Speedy, and I expect he's probably gone now. He doesn't hang around for long. He's a miserable git. Are you still there, Speedy? You're a miserable git. Are you still there? <laughs> okay, let's get outside. Um, <laughs> and kill these bandits, all right? So far, so good. Yeah, I don't like these... Um, I don't like this interior at all. Oh, hold on, though. I've just suddenly thought. This might be using... This... This might be... this. I'm just thinking this interior might be using um, Helgen Reborn textures if there's some Need textures something? packed for that rather than mine because this is more like I don't know I'd have to work that out doesn't look very good though does it anyway just something else to work on I suppose there you go let's get on with it let's go and kill these bandits then but so far so good folks with a bit of wounds quest line ah To see you're finally coming back around. Oh, don't worry. The paralysis isn't permanent, but you may have a headache for a while. <laughs> I suppose there's no harm in you knowing. It's a spell from a very arcane and ancient school of magic. I am one of only a few who can wield it these days. For a lesser skilled being, its effects are more harmful to the caster than the victim. In recent times, many died simply trying to learn it, <laughs> but I have mastered it, even if it does leave me a little tired. But I don't think you really want to talk shop, do you? No, of course not. You've caused me quite the bit of trouble, you know, but be that as it may. I'm glad to finally meet you face to face. Yes, charming to the last, I'm sure. <laughs> but you do understand that it's simply a matter of my good graces that you're still alive, don't you? Do you think that slaughtering an entire dispatch of old Mary soldiers, including two justicias, would go unnoticed by the Dominion? Were it not for me, that fetid little town you're trying to rebuild would have been razed to the ground by now. And the Thalmor would have once and for all put an end to your pitiful little band of miscreants. Oh, you look surprised. But don't worry. I know everything. The town. This Marcus Janus. And most of all, Valerius Tiberius Arturia. And his pathetic remnants of the Keepers of Hatu. They were also once a great thorn in my side, and, like you, caused me not a little bit of trouble in the past. But their time, his time, and yours, has come to an end. Nah, no, very true. <laughs> expect. I expect him to die. Like all men will die or serve the Dominion. The era of men has come and gone. It is now the time of the Ultima. I don't think so. You know, we were once a very patient people. But that patience has worn thin. I could have killed you, but I did not. Why? Yes, good. You see, we're not so different, you and I. I killed his family and others. You killed my men at the prison. We are both murderers. It's all just a matter of perspective. Yep, exactly. Except for you are a bit more deranged, you and your race. Uh, you want to kill yes, everyone. You are. <laughs> you will see that in time. 
if you live. You are but a dog, and I am your master. <laughs> what is it that you want? Oh, dear. Hey, Speedy. You will go get Valerius Tiberius Arturia and hand him over to me at the prison where you murdered my soldiers. What's that, Speedy? SEA still crash. Was that random with no reason? I'll tell you what, Speedy. Um, serious now. Uh, if you are having issues, come on over to the Discord and post your load order, right? Um, in a, you know, notepad file or something, so it's all in, you know, upload it and I'll have a look. If I can help you, I will. Oh, but there is way all wrong. You will, or else your friend, Marcus Janus will die. As I said, I know everything about you and <laughs> your friend. Cheeky get python. I know that yesterday he <laughs> decided to take a little stroll down to Riverwood. You know, you just can't be too careful these days. <laughs> just you never know when you might get kidnapped and brought to me. I'm looking forward to killing you, mate. So I'm really looking see, forward to killing you. You, you thalmor pig. Bring you dog. To me. And I might let Janus live. Don't bring him to me and he will surely die, as will Valerius and you. So you see. Okay, mate. All right. Valerius All right, Speedy. Die one way or another. And looking at the stream, this folks, way, you're just behind me a few seconds. It's really good. Pleased about friend. that. It's your choice. Now, you must sleep for a bit. And when you wake, you'll be back at the shore. You know what you must do. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that's funny just the way he falls down there <laughs> make sure you install any patches game in terror all right there are a collection of patches for voiceover packs and other stuff i think okay we got the t plus c sunset here folks okay there's always a reason for a crash always there's just something we're missing. I include myself in that, you know. It's just something we're missing generally. Unless, you know, whether it's a patch needed for mods that are crossing over, you know, whatever it is. Um, or we're running, you know, like I say, mods that just conflict with each other and we shouldn't be running them with them, you know. Or we need patching for them. Um, just to let you know, this is the EMB's preset set in sun, folks. I'm running it with, um, uh, for God's sake, where's my brain? The mesh mod for the sky. Um, totally gone from my head at the moment. Let's get on with this quest because this 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 um, testing of of bitter wounds is so important. So far, folks, it's going well. We've got no problems, and may it continue. Let's hope it continues. Let's just go to my private tower. Okay, so you know, there's always a reason for a crash. You know, I mean, if you look at my TPSC streams and TPS two. Um, we've had no no crashing in T, the TPS 2 AE um, streams yet, and we only had um, a, a couple in the early days of the TPS C streams because I hadn't patched for those mods that had conflicted, and I haven't found all the conflicts. So there's always a reason, generally, for a crash, okay, or some bugs. There's always a reason, um, and I would use my streams of proof of concept for that and how you can overcome things, because if you've been following my streams religiously, you know. Um, you know, for example, you can see streams where um, I update um, a TPSC file with nav mesh changes, and you'll see after four days or three days, whenever it resets, NPCs start bu bugging out because of nav mesh changes. That's why you always start a new game if there's nav mesh changes. Always, always. No matter what anyone else says, do it, right? Because it will affect the game so on and so forth so you know like i say there's always um a reason for it okay um it's just finding it you know that's all it is just finding it let's just save up um so in terms of technical of this mod pack we're going to sort out helgen right and the proper frame rates is so important that's a great point as well and they are you know if you're not if you've got to make sure folks you leave enough frames to run your game 
because if you start dropping below 35 frames per second, there isn't enough juice for the AI, you know, the, the part of the of the game machine or whatever to run those scripts. Especially if you're running a lot of scripted mods as well, you know, game changing mods and stuff like that. So you have to be realistic about what you're running with the resources you've got at your disposal. So there's lots of things that can cause problems. But going back to this game now, Fuzz, I love the coloration of, uh, um, you know, the, the saturation of this um, game at the moment. It's, it's really nice. I mean, the Set and Sun's EMB preset is, is working really well. We've got some lovely armors and NPC textures. and So really, really, my main issue with the TPOSAE mod pack right now is getting all these things... It just works, NATO, yeah. You know, it, it, it's getting it... Getting, I'm going to have to make an all-in-one patch to stitch all this stuff together where I do have issues. Um, like I had to do for TPOSC, and it's going to take some time. Okay, it's not going to happen overnight, but... Um, we're going to finish this. We're going to finish this Helgen test. Um, you know this Helgen Reborn test. Then I'm going to go back to the villages, towns, and cities. Do all the patching for that. Then we're going to do a proper playthrough and see where we are in terms of the state of the mob pack. Okay. Yeah, that's generally what I do, Speedy. If it feels smooth, yeah, I you know, I don't need to really worry about it too much. Unless I see some sort of effect, you know. But, um, again, what I'm trying to do, folks, um, you know, what I want to do is, like I did with TPSC, is produce, is produce a frame rate that is at 60 frames per second all the time. If you look at the TPSC mod pack that's on Nexus, um, and if you look in my streams, right, all my streams from about s the 70th hour onwards, and there's probably about... 500 or 300 or 400 hours of TPSC streams online alone all the, the and except for maybe two or three locations they fluctuate from about 52 to 60 in those three locations right but there's 60 frames per second across Skyrim it, so as long as you're running the same hardware specs that I've got for the TPSC mod pack you should have 60 frames per second and that's what I want to produce all the time in my work high frame rates good looking games aesthetically pleasing games yeah i cap mine at 60 as well terry you should do for skyrim you should do for skyrim you should actually cap your frames at 60 for skyrim because the engine can't cope with anything more that's a must that's why the emb does it that's why beth ini does it cap your frames at 60. i even got to cap my frames for um you know that lara croft game the latest one um, I have to cap my frames to around 80 for that because otherwise I get some weird effects um, when she uses her rope. So, you know, I mean, every game has its limitations and you, and you learn what those um, limitations are. Do you know what I mean? For each game. Anyway, um, okay, let's get on with this, okay? Right, right, let's save, folks, because again, this Bitter Wounds quest, a lot of people complain that it was buggy. But so far, right... Oh, good stuff, uh, Speedy, good stuff. So, let's carry on testing this Bitter Wounds questline. So far, touch wood, so good. How do you know this? God damn it, this is what I was afraid of. Wait right there. Falco, do you have anything you want to say about this? Valerius, I... I don't know anything about any of this. I swear to the gods. You and I are the only ones who knew Marcus was going to Riverwood. I made sure of that. You are a traitor and a liar. If you didn't have anything to do with this, then how was Marcus captured? How did they know what my friend here was up to? <laughs> how did they know where Korst was hiding before? It's all very convenient, is it not? I... I don't know, Valerius. I... I swear, I don't know anything you're talking about. Liar! Except for rescuing Korst, Arendelle has known what we were doing at every turn. You didn't have time to warn anyone about that, now did you? I saw you, Falco, two nights ago when you thought I was asleep. I followed you and saw the messenger you met with. I should kill you right now. How could you betray me like this? How could you betray Marcus and all your brothers? <coughs> Valerius. 
I'm sorry. They. Yeah, 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 Speedy. They have my sister. Guys, yeah. Children. They're so young. They're all I have left. They said they would kill them if I didn't tell them what they wanted to know. I didn't want to, but I had no choice. Falco, you're a fool. Your sister and her children are already dead or slaves by now. Mm -hmm. You'll never see them again. That much is certain. We don't have time for this. Of course, lock them in a cell downstairs. I'll deal with them later. Yes, sir. Fill me in on what you know. And if you like the stream, folks, don't forget to hit the like button, share the stream. If, you, if you're happy to with other people and you're happy to talk about the work, that'd be great. And again, I'll just say this. I don't like to say this too much, but if you can donate to the cause, I always appreciate it. So it's full time. And, I, you know, we're not rich here. So obviously any donations are really appreciated. It helps us each month. And I'll leave it at that. But again, just watching these streams, guys and girls, right, you help me. Because, oh, can I just say some positive news before, right? I'm really close, guys and girls. I'm really close to um, the last condition to get advertising for my my um, my YouTube channel. Um, I'm about a thousand hours off now, um, and once I've completed that, I should then start to get advertising, and hopefully within time, that advertising can start replacing my my need f to need, you know, people that want to support the art via Patreon. I mean, if people still choose to. That's great. Because, you know, I've got a future and my son's future to think about as well in his needs. But, um, yeah, like I say, we're not rich here. We live hand to mouth, month to month. Because like, I know a lot of people do. But so any support you give this channel, I really appreciate it. Okay. Right. Now, let's get on with this. After seeing Starfield so far, I, I'm going to reserve judgment, Python. I'm going to just wait and see what happens there. Because there are modding opportunities. Okay. With that for, without a doubt. Okay. Let's get on with this. So far, so good. No bugs. And it has come to this at come last. on. Perhaps today is a good day to die. I'm ready to go when you are. Okay. Yeah, I, I will wait and see just for a few weeks. Get a feel for it. See what people talk about online. But if it's, I think it's going to be a big game, folks. I, I think uh, part of me thinks they're probably even going to. They might even replace Skyrim with this. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I, th I think they want it to be a success for lots of reasons. As I spoke about in a previous stream, I think Starfield's going to be a big deal um, as long as it ain't too bugged out. But we'll see. Is there two banners? NATO. Sorry, mate. Um, do you want to expand on that? Is there two banners? In regards to what, NATO, mate? I'm, I'm lost there. Let me know, yeah? What you're saying there. I'm um, being a bit dense, maybe. Okay, look at this. Nice depth of field. This is really... Oh, look at this. This is a screenshot. That's a def... I'm saving coming back for that. That'll be the next... That, that's a lovely screenshot. That's lovely. Sorry, I got a cough. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Okay. So, where are we going? Oh, hold on. Do I... Map... Uh, Have a great day, Speedy. Hey, Speedy, really nice to see you, all right? Join us again. Take care, mate. Look after yourself. Nice, really nice to see you, mate. Look after yourself. Okay, we're going to, um, where are we going? The Thalmor Prison. Oh, of course we are, yeah. Okay. Oh, right, okay. I'll double check that, NATO, in a bit when we go back, yeah? Okay. The snow looks great. We do get a little bit of extra stretching on um, some objects. Snow stretching. We get less on others because I'm watching. I'm using stretch snow be gone. Well, I'm actually using a um, defuse file, which gives you lovely walkways. But sometimes you do. Oh, here we go. Now let Marcus go now. Let's just let this play out. Where's he to? What do you think you're doing? You can't. It's the only way, Marcus. What's you must know that by now. It has to end here and now. I live weak at last after all these years. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to say you fall. Let's just save, folks, just in case. To the 
legends that precede you. <laughs> Keepers of Hatu, indeed. I said, let Marcus go! All in due time, Imperial. You know, I still remember the look on your son's face from all those years ago. It is the look of fear and death. And it's the same look on your face right now. This sound war needs to I die, man. My men saying, this sound war is a like real a piece of shit, isn't he, you know? They beat him. And that your wife and young daughter both moaned like whores as my men ravaged them again and again and again. I'll kill you! Well, yeah, no. kill him. Let's just see. Yeah, that's all right. He's mine. Yeah, going down. Take his head, for God's sake. Take it. Kill him. Scumbag. You're dead. Right, you're all mine now. I hate the Thalmor, I tell you. I can't stand the Thalmor. Brutal, savage lot, they really are. God, these are tough, because I'm using my high-powered sword, folks, as well. Yes, lovely. Looks good, too. Ooh, take that. Dark arena. It's suitable. I'm going to kill them all. No mercy for these guys and girls. They're all dead. Because they wouldn't show us any mercy. They wouldn't think twice about it, folks. And they don't. You know? Where's he to? It is a bit dark in here. Um, let me just see if I can brighten it up for you, folks. It is a bit dark. I like the effects myself, but... Let's just lighten it up for you, alright? Let's clear the prison. Let's just... Uh, Oh, I think I've got to probably clear the prison on my own by the looks of it. Okay, I'm quite happy to do that. Let's just say, so far, it doesn't seem like we've got any bugs, folks. Bitter Wounds is working well. Let's just make sure that Thalmor Judiciary didn't have a... Yep, let's have that. I can't see... Is that a bug? I don't know. I think I've probably got to clear the fort before I can do anything. So let's go do this. Because if I remember rightly, that's what we have to do. So let's go kill these mothers. Because they deserve it, every last one of them. There's one thing men on men fighting, you know, but you listen to the. I know you wanted to provoke Val, but, you know, the way they, they treat the men, the women, everyone, you know. It's, they're not a nice race, you know, and, and there's plenty of races that are, you know. In fact, there's probably not one culture that hasn't been barbaric one way or another in this world, but there you go. That's another topic altogether. I've got no time for it, you know doesn't have to be that way. It's only insanity that makes it that way. <laughs> Whey! The, the thing is, oh, lovely. The thing is, it's not becoming like your enemy. Because that's, that's what happens. Navmesh there, look on there. There's the Navmesh. He's stuck there, that. You know, remember that you're killing to protect, not, not to destroy, you know. Not for power. You... Scumbag. Yeah, love that. Have some of that. Oh, that makes me feel good. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, they're absolutely off their tits, the, the, these, you know. Hello, Terra. <laughs> right, where are we going? Down here. Oh, let's use my bow, actually. Let's start being a bit more... Is there anyone here? What information can we pick up? We take that. Now, where's the rest of them? Oh, oh we've done it. Release Marcus from the cell. We're there, folks. Oh, we're back here. That's good. That worked out quite well. No, okay, so far so good. Touch wood, no bugs, all right? 
No issues with this quest line at the moment. What is Aaron Dale done? Brilliant. Here? This is far, far worse than any paralysis spell I've ever uh, seen. I've only just. I, I oh, hold on. Is he talking to me? Only the basic um, first shout, Python. That's all I got at the moment. Full, the false roll, da shout. Because well, I didn't really advance the main quest. Just killed the first dragon. We have to see if we can help him. Val, can you hear me? Yes, old friend. Blake, so good to be with you. The blood Blake. looks good on the floor. Lighting Blake. looks good. <coughs> Nothing out of order so far. Way to get you out of here. Hang on, Valerius. No, old friend. My journey has come to No, me. don't let him die. He's a good man. He's all right. He deserves some life. Oh, go join your family, mate, then. Die. Off you go. I've just heard some enemies, I swear. I know. My wife and my children. Yes, old friend. Go to them. Go be with your family. La 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 la. La da. La da la la. La la. He was a soldier of Rome. Honor him. We just couldn't let him come here to die like this. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, course, I understand. <clears throat> you men, stand at ease for a moment. I'm sorry, but these men and I would like some time alone, if you don't mind. We'll bring his body back to Helgen and prepare for a service tomorrow. <laughs> Please join us in honoring our friend. I'll see you tomorrow. Is that the end of Bitter Wounds? We'll wait to begin the service until you arrive. Go easy, my friend. Okay, I think that's pretty much... Uh, not one bug, folks, in Bitter Wounds. Not one bug. So I don't know what people were talking about. Um, if, if that is the end of the Bitter Wounds quest line, then they've probably started the quest in the wrong way. Um, because... I haven't seen anything. It's a, so far, I can say, hand on heart, and I'm not even playing this as in vanilla. I chucked it into my load order. So hand on heart, so for, far, um, Helgen Reborn's working perfectly well, except for one or two small little bugs, um, noticeably with the um, cave, um, the fight master um, and his dialogue. But I remember that from years ago. Um, oh, so I've just seen some more comments. Um, I'm just going to come out of the quest. One, two. I'll just come out of the menu. Three, four, five. You're about five seconds behind me, folks. No more than that. Almost done with it, Nez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what, off topic, Nez. Do you know anything about what's that? Manax folk? I ain't got a clue. What's that, mate? I ain't got a clue what that is. Anyway, look. The interiors look really nice. So I like them. I mean, they're good for my eyes. Um, so, yeah, that's nice. The lighting's good. So let's go back then, um, and I'm actually going to put a post um, on the Helgen Reborn page when I've done this quest, folks, um, because I think it's a wor mod worth defending and not let people talk shit about it. Um, so that's my opinion on that. But, but like I say, we'll wait and see for it to be finished before I, you know, give my full opinion. Now let me think. Let's... Uh, Oh, I see. Right, okay. Ah, uh, right, okay. I can't say I know a great deal, mate. Unless you sort of trigger some information or memory that's lurking in my head. Which is always possible, because I've extensively read and researched. Um, and I, I tend to try not to remember stuff deliberately. I mean, what I mean by that, you know, the old, you know, again... You know, read you. You learn something to forget it, um, but sort of a Buddha teaching, you know. Or where is it doesn't become a dogma. So you take a on board knowledge, you integrate it, and then you let it go. You don't hold on to it, and it's always there when required, you know. Um, but it doesn't become a dogma. It doesn't become something that you you worship every day. It's just something that's part of you and flows through you and around you, and it's it, it's knowledge and wisdom. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Um, 
you know, you want to talk about something, bring it up, and it might trigger some sort of aspect of me that, you know, oh, shit, it's just, oh, I've just got to come out. My um, chat box moved. Okay, let's go back in game. You know, some things we need to remember. There's a lot we just need to forget. Let it integrate it into ourselves and move on and forget, sort of get on with life, you know. Let it pass rather than holding on to it. Very important, that sort of understanding, you know. Let's just do 24 hours, folks. And then we can go and talk to Marcus and that, all right? I think there's a funeral, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, no, we have... Yeah, NATO, there's another one. There was two main issues, folks. We had... Um, well, let's just... That's lovely, look at that. Go on, I'm going to save there, look. Um, we had the animation bug of the door because they couldn't access this door. At the very beginning of the quest. And we had the, uh, like I say, the pit boss's dialogue. And that was it. Nothing, two little things that probably be sorted out very easily. Okay, it does look nice. That's why I stopped NATO. Because I thought, bloody hell, that looks good. You know, the plants in the walls, the fort, the moving sky. Okay, let's just go then another 24 hours then back to this time of day. Because... It'd be a good um, time to see the uh, next part of the quest. But so far, it seems all right, folks, you know. It's not too bad at all, Helgen Reborn. Ah! Should have stopped it an hour before. Never mind, don't matter. Still looks nice. They're nice to see the rain. Check the rain out. Splashes of storm. Oh, Gaming Terror. Really nice to see you, mate. Thanks for coming in. I really appreciate the time you shared um, in stream. All right? And in the chat box, in game and everything. I might see you again, mate, tomorrow or whenever. Have a good breakfast. Oh, okay. NATO, right, yeah. I just, I just have to have to come out of the game then because um, uh, what am I looking for? Re pre okay. Okay, all right. No, not really, mate. I didn't know. Um, okay, so. Let's forward this quest now. Where are we going? This way. Oh, it's around here, isn't it? I remember. Here we go. Okay. Oh, brilliant. Now it's going to, hopefully it's going to kick in, okay? Yes. Thank you for coming. Please join the others. I'd like to say a few words. Okay. And I that's forwarded as well, folks. Difficult for each of you as it is for me. More so. <coughs> you were his trusted friend. His inner circle. Our friend, I can assure each of you this. He told me that he was truly happy again. For the first time in many, many years. I don't presume to have words. I assuage the grief. We'll each have to find your own. Uh, sorry about the thunder and lightning, folks, and the rain in the middle of a service. What can I say? It's a bit annoying, but there you go. Bum 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 ba da dum. Yeah. Mm. 
for our friend. Grom. Grom. I've never asked you for nothing. You go to hell. Grom. Bom, bom, bom. <laughs> A great film. Brilliant film. Bitter Wounds is now complete, folks, and no issues. No issues whatsoever. Okay, so I'm going to post that on the Helgen Reborn mod page. Just to, you know, and the stream, and the and this stream as well. I think it's relevant. I think it helps the mod. Great film, mate. Great film. Ah! Let's see if he answers. I've just got what I've got with the, um... I've just got the same dialogue issue that I got with, um... The pit fighter boss. Or the one that directed the fight. So we're going to come out of there. We'll try again. Okay. Let's reload. Exactly the same thing has just happened. So it's only happened with the pit fighter bo boss and this here. Let's load it up. He should talk now. Okay, there you go. So those are the only few yes, small yes, things we've seen, folks. Please, come with me. Horst is meeting us downstairs. Let's get this over with as quickly as we can. Need something? Valeria. Why do you cry? I cry for Conan because he will not. <laughs> great film fucking love that film it's a great film man great story the giants the gods basically you know religious texts human history bomb bomb So, Bitter Wounds is just completed, folks, with no problems whatsoever. Absolutely no problems. Bitter Wounds completed smooth as punch. The only issue we have is a small dialogue bug now and again where you have to reload the game to get the NPC to talk and take on, um, you know, talk through their dialogue. And that's happened with uh, Marcus well, so just for the first time at the end of kill. Bitter Wounds that's and with the pit happy. boss. And that's it. Marcus that's the only bugs sorry. we've seen. And one that isn't, and another bug that wasn't even related to, and another bug that wasn't even related to um, Helgen Reborn. It's the animated fort doors, the bandit, or not the bandit, sorry, the um, NPCs couldn't use it. And that was at the very beginning of the first, or the second stream of the Helgen Reborn test. So all easy things that can be fixed. Okay. Children. And I am using, just saying, the Dragonborn voiceover mod. They might play a small part in this, okay? They're all the family. What's this? Oh, no, I remember. Oh, I see, Python. Ah, oh, right, okay. I, th I thought, because I was talking about with some real subjective stuff, and I thought I'd piss you off, you see. Have I thought I'd pissed you off, man. So, and then I didn't see it for ages. Falco, you or really Pyth, um, Zeus. So I just thought, you know, I'd pissed you off. You really said you you know. trust them? It doesn't matter, mate. It's you all done now. But God, what am I going to do with you? He is a traitor. And should die a traitor's death. Ah, right. Okay, mate. All right. You're probably right, Korst. I don't know. What do you think uh, about this? I'm struggling with this, man. Because... I don't want to make the wrong decision. There's been a lot of killing, and I'm a true Nord, and, and sometimes betrayal, but he's a weak man. He's not really a weak man. His family was taken from him, and he wanted to have hope. Um, I don't know. What am I going to do here? I feel a little bit compassionate, folks. So you've got one minute, folks. To, you're, you're, right, you're, you're probably a few seconds behind me in the stream. 
I'm going to leave it to you. Shall we sow mercy for this man or shall we kill him? I want to show him mercy today. I feel a little bit merciful. I think there's been enough killing. Make him redeem himself. Is there redemption for this man or do we kill him? There's three viewers. What do you want? Speak your peace or I'll make the choice. Should we banish him? Kill him? What do you say? Got any thoughts on this? You've got 30 seconds to decide. <laughs> the, the clock's counting down. Let him live with his shame is what I say. I'm going to let him live with his shame. We'll banish him. All right. We're going to, yeah, we're going to, uh, quickly, 10 seconds, folks. 10 seconds, all right? I'll just allow you to catch up. I'm just moving my, um, I'm moving my, my, my mouse over the dialogue because I get an idea of how far behind you. Yeah, you're only a few seconds behind. So a few more seconds and I'm going to make a decision. What are you going to do? We're going to kill him, ban him. Come on. All right, we're banning. We're banishing. Yes, perhaps you're right. Or <coughs> release him. Falco, you will not die this day. <laughs> not by my hand. But if I ever see you again, I'll kill you myself. Now go to whatever fate the gods may have waiting for you. Exactly. Oh, God. Let him live with Thank his shame. You, Marcus. But what have I done? I'll never be able to live with myself for this. Oh, God, what have I done? Go and redeem yourself. Make it right in your oh, way. Oh, God, no. <laughs> it is finished. We did what had to be done, Corson. You're dismissed. Yes, sir. This whole thing with Falco has been a mess. And we've paid for it with our dearest blood. But were it not for you, we'd probably all be dead now. We owe you our lives. Seems all I do lately is keep thanking you for your help. You see, this guy that made this quest, he's like me, he loves his films. We paid with it with our dearest blood. Yeah, Captain Kirk, Spock. Yeah, he uses, you know, you will not die this day or whatever. You know, lines upon lines upon lines from films. Some of the greatest films that's ever been on the screen. And I don't mind that, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I believe now that we can finally put all these things behind us and live in peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, Python. Yes, well, as you can see, the construction continues to move along nicely. <coughs> Patsy will run the inn for now, at least. Yeah, 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 Python, exactly. And again, they resonate with us. They mean something, you know. You know, um... You wish to retire. As you probably already know, Balfring is a skilled blacksmith. And Sienna has become... I'll just let the dialogue finish. They both want to work together and open a shop. And who am I to stand in their way? They should be open for business soon if you need anything. There's also one of the workers, the Argonian woman, who wants to open an alchemy shop once the construction's finished. As far as I'm concerned, she's earned it. And any town worth its weight needs an alchemy shop. Of course, oh, he'll never retire. He'll die an old soldier with his boots still on. It's just what he does. But this is a good thing, as he's needed to help keep the guards on their toes. Alton, he'll stay on and help Korst while he continues his studies of the old Red Guard ways of the sword singers. It's such a shame. Especially that in Arthur the gaming world, Bison. The sands of time and history. Maybe he can learn enough to revive the old ways someday. When people lose connection with their heritage, exactly. they lose part of themselves. And there is another classic line when people lose a uh, touch of their heritage. And that is why they are always, you know, seeking to strip our past from us. The Irish had it done to them. The English have had it done to them. Um, you know, the Native American Indians, the Aborigines, they're trying to do that. The Aborigines still. The, Abor the Aborigines are a bit harder to touch because, you know, um, so little of Australia has been colonized. It's only a small amount of, you know, America has been colonized, you know. Um, again and again, you know, they did it with the Nordic and, you know, again, strip away the past, strip away the heritage, strip away their customs and, and their healing and practices and all the rest of them, and you got them by the balls. They follow any shit. 
So all these comments, and, and this is a great, this is what makes this mod great, because it resonates. It's the same with the Skyrim game, folks. What makes the Skyrim game great is the, 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 the truths uh, and the, um, you know, that lay within uh, the stories that we tell. We used to tell stories around campfires. Now we, t we still do, but we, we tell them in movies and we uh, tell them in games as well. And don't forget to hit uh, the like if you like the stream, folks. I'd appreciate it. We owe you our lives. Oh, well, I've done all that. Not for you, ah. we'd probably all be dead now. Okay. I believe now that we can finally put all these things. What am I doing now? Okay. Let's just peace. Okay. This whole thing with Falco has been a mess. That's lucky. I got away with that, look. With our dearest blood. But were it not for you, we'd probably all be dead now. We owe you no, our lives. The masses, yeah. Yeah. Seems all I do lately is keep thanking you for your help. You have to go through the, the dialogue again because I stopped talking in the middle. I believe now that we can finally put all these things behind us. Let's see if I can push this on. Okay. Yes, well, as you can see, the construction continues to... Patsy will run the inn for now, and Sienna and Balt, as you probably already... They both want to work. There's also one of the workers, the Argonian woman, who wants to open an alchemy. As far as I'm concerned, she's earned it. And any town worth its weight needs an alchemy shop. Of course, oh, he'll never retire. But this is a good thing. Alton, he'll stay on. It's such a shame that when people lose connection with their heritage, they... Here we go, okay, themselves. good. Let's not rush this now. What about you? What about you? Who, me? Well, I've decided to reach out to a few wholesalers I know and start up the old shop again right here in Helgen. So keep your eyes open for the store to open. I'm sure you'll find some okay. things you can use. Other than that, once the construction's finished, a couple of the workers have said they'd stay on and work around town. You know, just general maintenance and so forth. But we need them, that's for sure. A couple more may even join the town guard. No. My leading days are over. I'm ready to settle down and live a quiet, peaceful life. When we're ready, we'll most likely set up a small town council. And then we can each take turns, acting as sort of an executive officer for the week. But none of this would ever have been possible without you. This new town owes its <coughs> very existence to you. Yes, Valerius too. I've decided to commemorate the town with a little something special. Oh, it's nothing elaborate, but I thought a little something in remembrance of those who have lost their lives here would be fitting. But that won't be until after the construction's finished. So keep your eyes open out by your front. Ah, uh, okay. Board. And with that, my friend, it's been a long couple He's of He's got years. Ellie, though, Python has sure you have other adventures to see. He plays Ellie, Skyrim don't Ellie. A stranger, friend. And, don't and he's always welcome, tell him, of course. I'm sure all the merchants will give their best prices to you once we're open for business. I'm proud, very proud, to have known you. And okay, I good stuff. The privilege of calling you a friend. I hope to see you soon. Okay, so that's good, folks. We that that's Those you know. Cars are the backbone of this city's besides, um, thanks to you and Korst, there are formidable. The construction of Helgen and the outpost, or the um, what I'm what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, um, the. The farmhouses that are on the outskirts of Helgen now and everything else were pretty much there. So, like I say, I'm going to do another stream or so, make sure Helgen is finished off properly. Where am I going? And um, then we'll I'll restart a brand new game with all the updates that I'm going to do, all the patching, start the all-in-one patch. Because I've made a nice little list where we've been doing all this. And see if we can fix things up. And down the line, we will be doing Helgen Reborn. Down the line, I'll deal with those animated doors and other things. So you've we, you know we've got a nice smooth mod pack, um, and again if you know if you haven't hit that like button and you do like the stream please do that and support TPS the TPS series in your way, I'd appreciate it. Now we're going to go on for another half hour, folks, because it's uh, we've been in game one thirty five. I generally do a couple of hours, and it's only just one o'clock, so I'll keep going. But again, this looks nice. So journals. Okay, so we'll keep an eye out for that. We're, we're allow some hours and days to go by. And we're going to do some other testing now. Keep your 
Okay. Of Skyrim. We'll go and look at some settlements now. And other settlements that we got. And we're going to go to... I'm going to Riverwood first. Because Riverwood is... Riverwood Grove, one of my mods. And then we're going to go to other places that we haven't been to. And I'm just going to check some of the inns out. Because for, for, I've been editing the lighting with Lux for the TPUSC. Sorry. The Skyrim Farmhouse TPUS 2 inns. This looks lovely. Oh, this is effective. Time of day. Okay. Let's just look behind me. All right. We'll go to the inn, have a little sleep. Actually, what time is it? I'm not what time is it. Where am I? Where haven't we been? We'll go to Winterhold in a minute and check out Soldier of War's Winterhold. We'll check out Riften after that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He disappeared, didn't he? Something like that. The guy disappeared. So, yeah. Oh, he's gone missing, sorry. He disappeared, gone missing. He's, he's probably uh, something's probably happened there. I expect you know. <laughs> Never in contact otherwise. But that's another good thing as well. You know, it, don't forget, folks. You know that this has been known to happen as well. Such people of money and influence and power um, sometimes have to disappear. Come on now. Um, for of, for many different reasons. Um, Generally, such men are embroiled in certain societies and organizations, and occasionally they need to disappear. And and one of the ways that they do that is they've had an accident, but they're still alive and they're off else. Do you know what I mean? And they disappear from society. They've played their part, their role. So, you know, again, that's what I'm on about earlier when I was saying about reading between the lines. I mean, this could be a genuine case of, of uh, an accident and he's kicked, you know, he's dead and lost to the sea you know it happens but um you know if they they need to make someone disappear there's many ways they can make that happen you know um and we know this goes on so it's what am i doing it, it wouldn't be a surprise if, if that was something you know going on there you know it does happen it's just you know what's going on where's my i'm looking for my torch what i was looking for oh god Okay, um, what did I say I was going to do? I'm losing my thread here. I'm a bit tired now. But that was good. No problems with bitter wounds. Um, it's very dark, so we might as well fast travel to uh, Winterhold. It's no fun okay. being pushed around all the time. Let's go to Winterhold, all right? Need a ride? I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Yeah, <laughs> probably, mate. <laughs> okay, um, Winterhold. Winterhold. Climb and back, and we'll, we'll be, be off. off. Okay, lovely jubbly. Disable that torch. I don't want to lose that. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar, the red who came riding to right run from, from old Rorik's stead. Literally a few seconds behind me still in the stream. That's wonderful. Ooh. And we've got a TPSC, let's just say, set in sun, uh, sunrise coming. They will be, um, I'm using Picta meshes, folks. So the sunrises won't be as powerful as if you, you don't use Picta meshes, all right? But let's see what happens there in a minute. Let's um, check out the city then. I'll just go a little bit slower for you, I guess, so you can get a sense of everything. Yeah. 
We'll check the interiors of Soldier of War's interiors for the inns and stuff because, of course, I'm running Skyrim Farmhouse inns. And so um, Soldier of War's inns, you know, take. Um, his mods are placed after Skyrim Farmhouse inns. Now, there's one of my um, drunks from Skyrim's drunk. So he's acting drunk already and he travels between Winterhold and other places. We are getting some lined effects there. Um, from the blowing piles of snow and stuff, so I need to look at that. Need something? I'm no. sorry. Could you describe the smell? Okay, evidence in order here. That's good. Inside out and then exploded. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. I've already corrected it for future experiments. This. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nelikar. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Okay, the NPCs look nice. I am going to patch for these interiors and put more Lux effects in them. Days, so where, you know, where appropriate. Um, so. My days at the college are long behind me, but I prefer to stay close by. Let's have a run through the city then. Just check it out. Don't just walk away from me. Where do you think you're going? To the inn for a drink, of course. Where else could I even go in this God's forsaken town? And what? You think that'll solve all your problems? Probably not, but it's worth a try. You ask me, not enough of Winterhold fell off into the sea. <laughs> Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Let's do a light test round here with the snow and everything. Will I putting a torch in? Okay. I used to be an adventurer like you, and I took an arrow in the knee. Oh, he's got one of my favourite ruffs. Collars, I love those collars. You're dead. <laughs> I don't have that, mate. Oh. <laughs> I have that. Excellent. Let's have a look at him. Cool. Love that. All right. So what I will be doing, um, we're just going to finish off Helgen Reborn as and check it out and make sure the town um, all falls into place. So I think what I'm going to do is, folks, now we've been here, I'm just going to shoot through on the time and see if we can get... I'm going to do... Let's do four days. And hopefully, Helgen in the town will be finished. A bit of luck. So I'm going to run through 48 hours um, to start. But no, let's do 36. Like I said, I want to see if I can just finish, get the Helgen uh, mod to, f to load everything up, or, you know, the exterior um, farmhouses and everything, so we can complete that. Because tomorrow, if I can do this today, I will be starting a new game, all right? With all the patching. Yeah, reset. I want to reset. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I'm looking to reset the game so everything's sorted for Helgen Reborn. I'm going to post on the Helgen Reborn mod page because we had no problems with bitter wounds. Okay. Ah, there we go. Keep an eye out for the completed... The, the construction of Helgen is continuing nicely. Keep out for more changes. So let's keep going then, folks. That's good. That's just advanced, so we know Helgen's still working. Okay. We'll do another 36 hours and see what happens. Or 20, 48 hours, see what happens. 
And then we can finish the Helgen as a base test for now. I can do all the patches, all the updates. We can really start to move forward with this uh, mod pack and start fixing up this mod pack for all the mods that we got loaded in it. Because it's going to need some work. Because like Soldier of War mods aren't kept up to date. Uh, there are patches, you know, the patches that are been made have been made for a lot of these mods. Haven't been updated for a, what a year? Some of them, eight months. <clears throat> so I think it's going to be a challenge, but we'll see how this all turns out. Do one more. There you go. Oh my god, more changes. Shit me. Let's save here, guys and girls. I'm just going to save here. All right, we'll just continue this because this is what I want to see, all right? So, um, but at least at least it's happening. So, we better see Helgen complete, okay? So, this is good. Um, let's just get the rest of Helgen complete. We can go and check it. We can tick off the initial and early stage testing for this mod pack. Um, and then tomorrow, I'll start... Or the, yeah, I'll start tomorrow with a brand new game with all the little updates that I've made in the um, all-in-one patch as well and, and the patches that I've loaded up and the changes that I've loaded up to date, folks, all right? So the mod pack's moving forward slowly, but it is getting there. And they're, you know, I'll, um, again, after we've got the patches loaded up that support these mods, like uh, Soldier of Wars and others, if there is any issues, I'll, I'll, I'll you know, fix them up in the all-in-one patch that will support this mod pack. If some of them aren't, are too much or too much work, I might reject some mods and load in some others instead, all right? So, um, yeah, there you go. We've still got some way to go, but it's coming along nicely. Okay, one more, and then we should see some more changes, and hopefully that will be the, the final one with a bit of luck. And what we'll do is we'll go to Riverwood, folks, and run up to Helgen. So if, we, if we're going to we'll run the back end. So if we're going to see any CDTs or issues, we'll see it then. We won't travel. We'll do a fast tra fast test, um, a fast travel test to Helgen as well. But we'll start by going to Riverwood. There. Oh, more change. Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's just go to Helgen now, all right, just for a test. What was that? Okay, right. There's more going on. Oh, right. Let's do this. This is good stuff. Let's check out. Okay, what's that there? Okay, that's that there. All right, we'll do that. Let's just go to Helgen first. We'll go... How is Helgen? Let's go to the Guardian Stones and we'll run up to Helgen. Now we're going to check, what we're checking for here now, folks, is um, the villages outside of Helgen. I reckon they should be there now. Let's just go forward to the morning. All right. Just so you've got plenty of light. Just want to make sure you've got plenty of light. We're going to check out the village that's out, all the farmhouses that's outside of Helgen. Make sure there's no l landscape discrepancies or nav mesh discrepancies. Stuff like that. That's good. We've got some nice light. Let's save. We can enjoy the beauty of Skyrim. Let's bring my sword into play. Just in case I need it. We use. We won't use my high-powered sword. We'll just use a, a Dwemer sword. Just in case I come across any enemies. Let's check out Helgen now, folks. All right. Um, and make sure the build's coming along nicely. There's no bugs, no CDTs, no landscape or nav mesh issues, which is important. There we go. There's my... He's, he's a TPSC road traveller, all right? That's Monk. He, he um, travels to Dawnstar. I'm oh, sorry, not Dawnstar, sorry, Windhelm. And um, one of the player homes and all the way to Falkreath. So let's see what's what.
Okay, we got the exterior of the villages and the farmhouses. The landscape looks good so far. I'm going to use that on the Helgen Reborn page when I post. Little bit of pool there I felt in the gameplay. That could be nav mesh related. I'm just going to save. I'm going to go into TFC mode. I want to look at the bigger picture. Looking for any landscape anomalies at the back ends of the... It all looks good to me so far. Touch wood. I think we're doing all right. But TPUSC has nothing in these cells. Sorry, TPUS 2 AE has nothing in this, these cells. There's no edits to these cells. So it shouldn't be problematic. There might be some nav mesh work required with other mods or whatever. We'll see. But so far, so good. Let's have a look out where these guys path to. Landscape looks good here for this particular abode. Nothing looks out of the ordinary. And we've got lovely fluffy walkways like fresh falling snow is falling on these walkways and that's a project defuse files that i use folks that looks much better than painted snow okay and these guys seem to be pathing okay to their i would guess what would be their chores and their work so this is looking good so we'll go to fro froki or whatever about moving to helgen okay we'll check this out this is obviously part of a side quest. Helgen itself looks complete now. There's kids running around. So this all looks good. Oh, little bit of landscape nav mesh, um, landscape work there. Okay. That's, um, everything looks good, folks. He's got his dog. Hi, Python. Okay. Everything looks good. Everything looks right. Hello, Yoef. What are we up to? We're Yoef. Um, bitter Wounds quest for Helgen worked perfectly. No issues. And I'm going to report in on the Helgen mod page um, when I'm done. I'm going to be Hello, posting friend. some pics. In, uh, pic I'll stick my report on there, I think, just to help people. Okay. Okay, mate, we're going to go and check out this side quest, which is part of Helgen Reborn now. And I will be finishing the book in a bit, folks, but this looks, it's been really positive. Um, I've just actually got to come out and scroll my chat box up, okay, so I can see the, okay, right. We are getting close to our objective. But yes, let, this is very positive news, folks. I had no issues um, with the quest line of um, the Helgen Reborn, Bitter Wounds, or whatever it's called. That we've had very few issues. So, like I say, I'll report on on that on the Helgen Reborn mod page when I'm done, because I think it'll help people. Um, we've only had a, a few small issues, so I'm just going to check out this nest. One of the last. Where are we going? Where is he? Oh, he's all the way down there, is he? Christ, okay. Um, which is the nearest? Now nah, we'll just run it. It'll be good just to run it. And don't forget to hit the like button if you hit, if you like the stream, folks, and you like what you see. Um, nearly two hours in stream now, folks. So I think what I'll do is, it's Thursday tomorrow. Um... And I sort of did sort of allocate the week to get through Helgen Reborn, so I won't rush it. Um, but the Bitter Wounds questline finished with no major issues, so that was good. And we've had no major issues with Helgen Reborn. Um, so, yeah, it's been pretty good, actually, pretty positive. And um, the construction of Helgen Reborn is, seems to be going well. So what I'll do is I'll come in and play uh, Helgen Reborn tomorrow and finish it off tomorrow. Just to make doubly sure, and I'll do some reports at the end of that. But yeah, but everything looks pretty good. And we've had no crashes, no CDTs, nothing out of place. So yeah. So I think what I'll do is... Um, I think I'm going to finish here, folks, because I'm hungry. It's one o'clock. 
I'm feeling peckish. We've nearly done two hours. I'll just keep on running to the ob quest objective, I think. Okay. I am going the right way, aren't I? Okay, I think I can speed this up, actually. With my jump mod, my jump cheat, I just think I'll go over the mountain. If I can, I should be able to. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> oh. If I just. Where am I? Alright, I'm down. Okay. Oh, come on. You can do this. Jump, your shit. Jump, 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 jump. There we go. Again, I like to do this, folks, because believe it or not, this is good testing as well for a, a, any pack. You know, um, I found this out years ago. As long as there's not a collision that stops you. Actually, I don't think I'm going to get all the way up there. I might do, actually. Let's try. <laughs> I'm not going to get all the way up there. I'm dreaming. Let's just see if I can push on here just to speed things up. There we go. Yeah, I can't. There's a. I'm being blocked. I thought I might have been. All right, never mind. It's it's just interesting to do this. I like to do this every now and again. So we're heading towards um, the Helgen Reborn quest about letting someone join our home. You can see it on screen. Fock, Frocky or whatever his name is. Whatever his name is, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going across the mountains. <laughs> Okay, almost there now. Okay, let's get back on foot. There we go. And you're just a few seconds behind me, which is really good. Maybe four or five seconds in stream. Again, hit that like button if you like the stream, folks, and support the TPS series in your way. I'd appreciate it. Oh, there's a bear. Oh, it's a troll. Let's deal with this troll. Where is he? Oh, I have some of that trolley. <laughs> Fourth unknown CERN running in the foreground there. You can ride those. Where are we going? Yeehaw. Sorry, what have I missed? Uh... Oh, yeah, I totally agree in terms of the life twist and turn. Sorry, I didn't see it, mate. I was um, focused on my um, quest. Look at this. Look. Where am I going? I need to get to this quest. Yes, totally agree, mate. It is full of twists and turns. Over there. Got to get behind. We're going to hit a TPOS, TPOS 2 spawn in a minute. Along with everything else that's going on here. So maybe I'll get off my uh, mount in a minute. Oh no, I've just gone past... Sorry, the there's, there's TPS2 spawns a bit further on. Here we go. All right. Oh, look at this. Oh, get off, get off. Why can't I get off? What's going on? Ah, there we go. Okay. This is Fourth Unknown's Goblin Camp we got here. Or oh, something else. Something's going on. Look at this. Goblins galore. Time to shift this up and move to my greatsword. These guys have got a bit more bite about them. Dear me. Oh, 
Looks like there's some nav, nav mesh work needed around here, folks. I've got a funny feeling. Yeah, definitely. Look at what's going on here. All right. We need some nav work or a collision markers. There's some work required around here. Definitely. There's a hell of a lot going on here, folks. Look at all the shit going on around here. Bloody Spriggin, too. PJ Bosses Spriggins. All right. <laughs> hey, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. Come here. Ah, oh, screenshots of this, man. Oh, <laughs> hey! <laughs> Wicked. Now, where's the rest of the enemies? It's more over here. Let's just check. That's fantastic, man. Wow, enjoyed that. Where's where are they gone? Where are they all gone? There's one over there. There's an L. That's an elk. Okay, all right. There's lots of goblins over there though, and the saber cats. Let's join the fray, then we'll get back to the um, quest. We're heading in the right direction, anyways. A spriggin. That spriggin looks so cool, man. Post. Excellent. Ho, ho, ho. That's what I'm fucking talking about, man. Looks great. Game looks good. Love that elk. What else we got? Oh, saber cat. Hello, saber cat. Yeah, Zach, I hope I answered all your questions there, um, Python, about your comments. Sorry, mate, didn't see them. Sometimes I will miss comments, you know, um, especially if I've got a lot going on and I'm concentrating on something. So just remind me and I'll, I'll scroll back and take a look. Elk. Um, but let's get to the quest now. We're going over here. Very close now to this guy. That was good fun, folks. I love that. That was awesome, man. That was really good fun. Bring it on, I say. <laughs> so that was a goblin um, camp. Fourth Unknown's Goblins. We had um, Fourth Unknown Cerns. And P bosses, um, Spriggins, which look fucking lovely. They look absolutely spot on, man. Great. That looks quality mod. Lovely. And I don't mind his um, nude or breasted um, Spriggins. Well, Spriggins probably not so law friendly because they're you know they're, they're sort of more magic elven. So I don't. But I don't mind that too much. But giants and hag ravens totally acceptable. You know. Um, the statues I don't really go for because, you know, but um, his work is still quality regardless. Whether you think it's immersive or not, it's quality work he does. Lovely, very nice. And here we go then. Let's talk to this guy. He wants to join Helgen, so don't forget to hit that like button if you like the stream, folks. Let's save just in case we have any dialogue issues. Let's bring in some light. Oh, just what we need. City folk barging in, probably looking for an offering to their precious divines. Have I got the right person here? Yes, yeah, speak with. Okay. Not me. I don't believe in the divines. <laughs> Good. This is Skyrim. We should honor the old ways. These foreigners don't even respect their own gods, much less Kine and her sacred trials. What are the sacred trials? It's an old Nord tradition. A test to prove your worth in the eyes of Kine. Show that you're a hunter and no simple butcher. Kine teaches us to respect the beasts and blesses the hunter who will face their champion. True Nord hunters are those who survive the trials. Do you think you're strong enough for Kine's blessing? I would be glad to pass this tradition down. Yes, tell me what to do. You must defeat guardian beasts blessed by Kine. I'll anoint you with the symbol of the wolf, the crab, and the skeever. This will compel the guardian to appear when you reach his lair. I guess I'm going to have to do this quest before I can get him to move to Helgen, maybe? Um, let's see what the dialogue's... Ah! Okay, about what? Oh, 
Oh, well, right, Python. It. So it's Didn't actually appropriate it. then. It was all nonsense. So that is immersive. So I don't. Yeah, I don't have it. Yeah, that's fine. You see, um, before I, I just answer that that question because, um, you know, like I say, hag ravens and giants don't have the same norms and values as, you know, as um, you know, so-called civilized people. It's like this guy in kind, you know. It's a totally different mindset about existence, you know. So, you know, they're not um, filled with neuroses about their bodies and about how the way they express themselves, you know. Modern, you know, that's co completely different. So I have no problems with that, you know. It's it's it is immersive, I think. I suppose the boy deserves a better home than living out here in some little shack with me. But I don't even know you. How do I know I can trust you? To gain my trust, you must complete my trials. Well, there you go. It's all linked in. Okay. Okay. Um, I think... What do I need to do? What do I need to do? Turn when you've defeated the Guardian Wolf, Crab, and Skeever. A Guardian Skeever? Are you serious? Don't mock it, pup. Even the lowliest beasts can kill the weak and arrogant. Yeah, very You'll true. Try more powerful enemies next if you survive this. Okay. Is, is that that I'm one? 11 years okay all right then all right so this is all linked in folks um lovely look at that lighting that's right yeah they're, they're not human so they don't think like them exactly right so the lighting looks really nice here folks um it's been two hours now i am hungry tomorrow we will come back and finish the helgen reborn quest line but let me tell you now folks it's been almost flawless um the issue with the animated doors has got nothing to do with um, Helgen Reborn or the NPCs. Um, I don't believe that. The only issue was the dialogue with um, the pit fighter, which is a bit temperamental, and Marcus once after Bitter Wounds was finished. Everything else so far is finished and kicked in and triggered flawlessly. So in my opinion, from what I've seen, and this is just the first test of Helgen, if people are having issues with it, they're not using the, the mod right. Um, they've got multiple mod conflicts or they're not running the mod or they haven't started the mod as instructed because I haven't seen much wrong with it to be honest with you um, and if there was something or major wrong with it I'd tell you I wouldn't you know hold back so you know if it was shit or if it was like really crappy I'd tell you you know but it's not it's it's played out really nicely um, right um, with this particular quest python I think what the the mod author has done he's linked um <coughs> the boy coming to helgen with the quest okay that we do for kine it's all linked in all right i think that's what's going on there with helgen reborn I, I think that's what's going on so let's just um do one more test folks i'm just going to move um forward in time to see if helgen moves on at all as well with the building because that will be something separate. So we'll do 48 hours. See if we can get Helgen complete in terms of its build. Because this, this little quest here is something else. And then I'm going to save. Give my thanks to you all for joining me today. Give my usual spiel at the end of the streams. And um, we'll move on. And I'll be back tomorrow to finish off the Helgen Reborn mod and quest. All right. Let's just do another 24 hours. And see if we get any advancement in the Helgen quest line. You might have to do 36. Just have to do this quickly, all right? So... We might have to do this one more time, but let's just see if it does advance. Right, let's do another, if, if, if it's going to advance, it'll advance in this next 24 hours, all right? And then we'll go back to Helgen, I'll save there. <coughs> no, we won't, we'll stay here, because we've got to do the quests for kind. <coughs> okay.
Okay. So it seems I, th I got a funny feeling that the rebuild of Helgen has been completed. And we've just got a few side quests like this now. Which is good. Um, I think I am going to fast travel to Helgen as a test. Because fast traveling will always... You know, if there's any issues, you will get a CDT if there is problems. So I just want to do a fast travel to Helgen. And tomorrow I'll just start the game... I, you know, I'll load up the game um, where we are right now. Let's just fast travel to Helgen for the head of it. Okay, um, and then I'm going to save up and come out, folks, and finish off the stream. Oh, lovely. Look at that. I'm glad I did that. Hmm. Time of day. Nice. Let's just check out my home. Okay. Bring on a torch. A torch. Oh, I ain't got any more torches, so we'll use. What we'll do is, let's use some candlelight. Oh, looks really nice. It's you know, it's quite a nice lot of night light. I'm going to finish off now, folks. I'm going to go into my little abode. I think. Where am I going? That's so, so round here, isn't it? And we'll call it a day. The private tower is mine. It's my home. I think I'm in the right one. Yeah, okay. Well, that looks lovely. Look at that. That's a good place to finish. Okay, folks. So, there we go. I will be back tomorrow, okay? I just want to give my thanks to you all. Python, it's nice to see you again. Game in Terror, thanks for joining me for the first time in the stream. Or, or chatting in the stream, sorry. Um, you know, um, NATO. As always, I appreciate all your support, NATO, all right? Um, who else have we got? We had Yoef. Um, Jack, if you came in the stream at all. Speedy, nice to see you, Speedy. Really good to see you. That was great to see you, mate. Who else have we got? I think that's everyone who's written up in the... Um, or who's posted in um the chat box uh and as for the um poll i did finish the poll earlier i forgot about that folks that was an accident i accidentally finished the poll earlier i didn't mean to do that i'll post another one tomorrow um again if you like the stream and you like my work consider supporting me folks whether it's you with your likes or joining me in stream comments sharing making donations to the to the art if you can um, via patreon and any and all links will the primary links are in the description box for you to find my Discord and myself on Nexus and stuff like that. I'll see you all tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. And we'll finish the Helgen Reborn mod, okay? And um, finish off everything there. And then we'll start again on Friday with a brand new game to test all the new patches and all the other mods that I've loaded in and the current building of the all-in-one patch that will support this mod pack. So, with that all said and done... I'm going to thank you again, folks. You'll take care. Have a great... Thank you, NATO. You take care, too. Take care, Python. I'll see you all tomorrow if you're about. I'm Nesbitt. You're the people of Skyrim. Good gaming, folks. And thanks so much for everything you do for the channel and for my work, all right? I'll see you soon.